Today I'm going to show you how to use um, Final Cut Pro. So, here's Final Cut Pro. I just chose a video that I worked on with me, my best friend. We both turned 22. Well, yeah, and we made this video. So, as you can see, I'm going to just teach you the basics. So, what you want to do first usually is you want to do file, you want to create a new library. And why you want to do this each time is because um, you want to be able to just organize everything and then you don't want everything to it's just easier to back up later on let's do day 12 so you want to create a new library and then this button right here consolidate is an important button You want to make sure that it's backed up into Final Cut Pro right here. And um, you want to choose new libraries because when you want to back up your stuff, you're going to grab that library from the Final Cut Pro backups and then back up that file. Actually, yeah. And then, like, before you're done, you're going to want to hit this consolidate button so that you make sure that the media you put in is actually like backed up. So then you have a... So I'm not going to use this. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to put um, today's new project under the 30 day challenge. So you're going to go and file new project. Day 12. And then I'm going to be putting the files in here later, but what you do is you just go, let's say this photo, I like to drag them in. So you open your new project. There it was. And then you can just drag files into here. Once you open the project. Then once you have your media in the library area, you can just drag it down. It's going to ask you video properties. I usually like to set these to just like what it's um, set to originally you can change it but usually it'll come up with whatever the f it automatically the first video you put into the timeline it usually just auto sets to that that or it just does the auto HD for photos which is a little weird so here's the timeline drag stuff in I'm gonna give you an example of the video I took with my friend. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do some basic cuts and some shortcuts. So you want to drag your files down in here. Some basic cuts you can um, make something shorter just by dragging it. With Final Cut Pro it makes it super easy. Um, something that I like to use a whole lot is the blade button. You push B and it turns into a blade. And you can blade it and then it makes it easier to like move things around. You can also blade multiple things. So let's say we have all of these right here. All these videos in the same spot. We could do command blade 
and it will blade all of them. Maybe you have to push command blade multiple times. Okay. Okay, I have to stop there. Um, oh, Command Blade actually uses this thing to blade it. Um, something we did in this, if you're using multiple camera angles, you can select it and then you can push D, which is disable. So you can undisable a clip and then re-undisable it. Hmm, it doesn't want to do it right now. Anyway, there's that. Um, over here, there's some basic... You can retime the video slower, faster, normal. Um, here's coloration, tools, music, transitions, um, this is text. Um, these are also types of transitions or effects that you can use. And these are also pre things that you can put in. So um, that's basic editing for Final Cut Pro. How you export something is I just use the one we just did today. You can I'll make another video of how I'm doing this video. File, share. You also need compressor. That's like another program. You have to have compressor and Final Cut Pro. And they also have to be the same um like 10.1 or 10.0 so you share it in master file um, Final Cut Pro exports in like a huge file so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to happy. so you can share it to the desktop um, I just like to use the default settings but you can really get into like video stuff. So it shared to the desktop. Where is it? Maybe it shared to movies. Freaking out. So we're gonna use handbrake. Handbrake compresses it. I like to use iPad size and with handbrake's iPad. So it makes it really nice. And then it'll put it on your desktop. So there's the basic things with Final Cut Pro. Um, there's not a whole lot else. There's a lot of really advanced edits you can do. You can go into like a lot of the settings and really mess with it. Anyway, that's Final Cut Pro. I'll be using it to actually upload this video and I'll make another video of the video that I'm making right now. So, great. Alright. Now I'm going to make a video of how I just did that other thing. Day 12. Come on, computer, you can do it. <laughs> All right. Is it really presetting in 4K? That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to show you how I 
I'm going to lower that so it doesn't export in a gigantic size. Um, I'm going to make a video of how I just made that other video. So I'm dragging both the videos. This is already in day 12. I'm going to just look for... Oh my gosh, I can't believe my computer is managing this. I'm going to look for... the part where I put up my three fingers. Because that is where I'm going to start. Should be somewhere else right here. So let's say we have all these videos right here from Spot. You can get these videos and play Spot. You can command and it will play to all of them. So now we have to line this up. Line up the audio. Three, two, one. Awesome. And blade. Blade. My computer's fan is overclocking. My bad. We're going to want to line up these audios. Let's hope I can manage to do this while I'm on film. All right. I think the audio from these are the same, so we can just chop out one of the audios. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to leave it and export it. And then I'm going to put this video into my video. So you won't get to see the export on this. Because, well, I might as well, I could export it and then punch it back. No, that's going to be good. So, that's my video. Go Final Cut Pro. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Um, I can pretty much do anything with it, but it's just super duper fun. I've been using it for a while now. and It's just super duper user friendly. So, yay. Fun.